I'm Brianna Brownlee here in Northport outside of the San Pedro Catholic Church where I had an incredible conversation with the World War II veteran's widow. Now, not just any veteran, a veteran who was captured in Normandy. During our hour conversation, his family shared how he was able to escape, re-enlist, and make history. All that you've seen in the movies of the PT boats. It's one of the best known photos in American history, the D-Day invasion and World War II veteran William Edward Daniel was on one of those boats. His widow Carolyn Daniel calls him Ed. She says not long after the invasion of Normandy, Ed and his platoon went out looking for food. And in, in doing that, he was captured by the enemy. Captured and taken to a concentration camp. He saw Hitler many times. And under Hitler, Ed was a prisoner of war for more than a year. He was told to bury the people that comes out of the ovens or if they just shoot people down on the street. He watched him. It was so cruel. Fast forward to September of 1945. Germany and Japan had surrendered, but Ed was still in a prison camp. One day while doing his daily chore of burning bodies. He saw a bicycle uh, in the, he could just see a bicycle from, from the woods. And he thought, if I were going right now, I can get free. So that's what he did. He pedaled and pedaled until the U.S. Army rescued him. Exhausted and suffering from starvation, Ed spent 90 days recovering in the hospital. It's like coming back from the dead. Ed eventually recovered and went home to his family, but he didn't stay home long. Despite everything he went through, Ed re-enlisted and went back to serving his country. That, that's where he got all these medals. Ed was the first soldier to get the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Badge, one of the rarest badges the United States Army awards. They, he, he developed, in fact, he and another guy wrote the whole book on the whole procedure. After retiring, Ed kept himself busy by teaching ROTC in Virginia. In 2009, he passed away at the age of 89. His widow, Carolyn, tells me he was an amazing man who lived a full life. And now for this Veterans Day, he was awarded by the Tilla Hospice with another pin. From Northport, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.